welcome all to the weekly outlook burn here from Elliot Wave Pro um, this week I'll go, going I will start with DXY I'll go to the weekly and work our way down just on this one so it gives us an idea of what's going on in the majors basically so this one here I've been looking for this for ages uh, the A B and C this is your 100 fib here so there is still potential of more downside if we go down to the daily I'm looking for this like I've been explaining in for weeks and weeks now well I'm looking for this uh, like W X Y uh, X and then a Z now is this over um, it's still not confirmed that this is the Z down yet. Um, we still can get a little bit more upside. Um, so if we go down to the H4, last week I was looking for this Z up. We, we had that bullish hidden divergence and it was confirmed as well. It failed. Um, it, it still hasn't failed. The bull hidden still ha hasn't failed. Uh, this is the invalidation point for the uh, for the ball hidden. So the ball hidden is still in play. This can just be one one piece up, and then we get this is the larger correction. This is larger. This has turned into a larger correction now. So this is wrong. Um, I'll remove that. So now we just have a W X Y. And this is a larger correction. Is this the impulse to go and break the low? Well, we don't. I, m me personally, I would not be selling this until this low gets broken. It, it's just too risky. Um, but when we go down on the H1, I, I wouldn't be selling because we're going to get the Z down on the daily um, and then it's going to reverse so as soon as this bottom gets taken out um, we'll probably get more upside for a, a much larger correction so there's more potential in the upside than there is the downside but not just at this stage uh, if that makes sense so this one didn't go we did get if we go down on the H1 we did get a nice setup here. Um, this was your setup here to buy. It failed, um, but you should have at least got break even. Um, you know, uh, this was your buy setup in here. It didn't go. Um, you get got out, or at worst, you would have taken a hit at the low here if you got in around here somewhere. Um, you would have taken a small hit on it. Now we don't have any bullish divergence. So that's where it's getting tricky. You, you, if you get a little flag, you can sell, um, but you can only, I would only scalp. If I'm looking for the sell, I'd only be scalping. Like I said, on the daily, we're just going to, if we do get that Z down, um, we will be getting that bullish divergence and then we will start to get that larger correction. So I'm not really interested in the cells. Um, you can scout the cells for sure. Um, we don't have any bullish divergence. So on the H1, you get a flag, you can sell. Um, so I'll remove this because it still can go, but it's not going to be as dead up. The ball hidden still can go but it's not going to be a Z up. So is this the end of daily X? It's not confirmed on the daily. We do have a trend line break on the H4, um, but that doesn't really mean much until we get confirmation. So we still do have that Ball hidden potential ball hidden here so you definitely can't rule that out until this low gets broken I'd rather this low get broken and then you could look for that 
bare flag or correction and then sell. Just to get rid of that ball hidden, um, take that out of the picture first and then, and then look for the cells. Remove that and this is our trend. So AU, we didn't get that Z down. Um, I was looking for that Z down. During the week, uh, I think it was even Monday, um, I put out in the group that um, on the H1, we had this, I was, if, if it was going to go, if we were going to get the Z down, it would have gone from here. It had to go from there. So once we start to get this and a little ball flag in here, um, the chances of getting that low broken become very slim. So we got that, we got this flat here, um, expanding flat. I put this out in the group, I think it was Monday afternoon, um, I seen this and we started to get this and I wanted to get, uh, wanted to get this uh, move up. At that stage, it wasn't 100% uh, sure that this top would get broken. Um, but yeah, we got a little flag in there. So I thought, well, you can look for this buy to go and break that top. Now we're breaking out of the structure, but we're breaking out. So again, this is, we're not gonna get that Z down. Um, So this is just a, a, a WXY down here. So I'll remove all this. I think last week I did mention as well um, on AU that I don't like it. Usually in a way, if we're gonna get the Z down, I don't really like it to see go past this 50 fib. Um, last week I was saying that it, it has gone too far, um, but it's still, valid for that bear hidden to go from here but it had to go from here from this point here it had to go um instead it turned into this flat here um for more upside at the moment <coughs> you, you we don't have any bearish divergence so you can look for the buys um if you get little flags you can look for the buys this was your buy set up in here. Um, this was, this was, if you're going to buy it, this is the one that you wanted to buy. This one in here. Um, at the, it, once, once you start to get the break of this top, we don't have any bearish divergence, but when you're down, um, when you're here or over here, you don't have that, you have that bearish divergence. So um, you don't want to be, uh buying up the top here this was your trade here to buy at the moment if you if you are going to get if you are going to trade flags you're really only scalping them now so if i draw the fib now we don't know if this is going to turn motive or or just a correction. But this is your 100 fib. So if we get break past here, um, more than likely we'll go up to the 161.8. Then look for another correction like this in here, something similar, whatever it is, and then look for that Z up. If you get a bounce off this, um, and a little bare flag in here, you could look for that cell to go and break that low for a larger correction. But at this stage, that's gonna be weak, you know, it's really we have to wait. If you're not in this flag, you, you, 
very risky to be trading if you're not in this if you're not in it already very risky to trade basically h4 on the eu again i was looking for that z down and never happened we still do have that fair hidden divergence so you really don't want to be well me personally i wouldn't like to be buying until that fair hidden gets taken out if this gets taken out then look for the correction and, and then look for the buy to go and break the top um, it becomes risky when we have these bull hiddens uh, it becomes risky i think on daily oh no it's just one piece up so at the moment how can you trade this you really have to be quite experienced to trade this get them to break even um, and trade them yeah it's it's so choppy the price action is so choppy it's it's very risky when you see this it's so choppy do you want to buy it would you buy something like this me personally i leave it alone i i just leave it um i find something better to trade um i won't be buying this or selling this at this stage we do have bearish divergence so i mean i, I wouldn't be buying it, it it becomes too risky for me um so i just leave it gu last week I, I just said stay out of it you know um it's very choppy we did end up getting this flat in here so if we go to the h4 i'm looking at this because like i said last week this is so choppy you know it, it's hard to say that this is an impulse because it's so choppy so i am looking at this as the a well, this is the large A, B, and C for the uh, internal A, B, C in here. Now, I'm more interested in the cell. Because of how choppy it is, I, I don't want to be buying into something that's so choppy. It, it, it's too risky for me to be doing that. Um, it doesn't make sense over long term if you if you start to go against this um you, you lose money you will lose money um now there was a nice little flat in here you could have traded on friday um, there was a nice little trade in there um, for a scout for an a b c uh now last week i think we were in i can't even remember where we were i think we might have been up in here somewhere uh, to sell this, but oh no, I think we might have even been in here somewhere. So I, I said to stay out of it until you start to see the structure. Um, and we did get this structure in here. Um, this like A, B, C. We got the five up. So we are looking for another five up to finish this B off and then we'll go down. Um, I, myself, will be staying out of it. We have this potential bear divergence here. Um, I definitely don't want to be buying into this. You can scalp the flags. If you get little bull flags, you can scalp, um, but that's about it. I wouldn't be looking to go and break this top, you know. Um, at this stage, I definitely wouldn't be looking to go and buy this to go and break the top over here you know it, it just doesn't make sense so be very careful we do have a trend in here now so yeah if you get the breakdown wherever this b wave ends uh if you get the break then look for the trend line break and flag and look for that cell to go and break the low And you, and you, um, 
I think it was a couple of weeks ago now, I couldn't rule out this here. I couldn't rule out this, this A, B, C. Even though on the daily we got that Z up, I still couldn't rule this out. Now we got, uh, we got a deep retracement in here. So we definitely can go up and break this top. I'm just going to stay out of it. It's, it becomes too risky. Um, it never gave you. It never really gave you the buy setup. I mean, you could have taken this sort of like a head and shoulders here, they call it, you know, like head and shoulders. You know, if you took that pattern there for the A, B, C, well, there is no bearish divergence. So if you do get flags, you can look for the buys. But again, I'd only be scalping it. Um, because on the daily, we do have that bearish divergence. So you have to be um, take that into consideration. Um, so you, you're only scalping, basically, you know, we're only scalping at the moment. And we're not looking for those big moves at this stage. EY, uh, UY, sorry. So, I was looking for this C up. I, I still think there might be a little bit more in this. Um, when I go down to the H1, you'll you'll see why. So I'm looking for this this A. All this is correction B, and we get that C up. Here we do have bearish divergence on the H4 already. So this can be the end of wave C, and we do go and break the low. Again on the H. Oh, on the daily, like I've been saying for months now, um, I've put this idea out, um, like a sell idea um, over, over here for this uh, bear hidden wall. It was even higher than that up here somewhere on trading view on the lower time frames too. We've got that bear hidden here. So I can't rule out the low getting broken. Um, so we've got a W, X, Y. I reckon this is the end of the Y here and we're getting this as the flat here. I would like to see a little bit more upside before it goes down um, and possibly break this low or at least break this low here. Um, we don't have the cross on the MACD, so I really need that cross to give us that X and then we get that Z down. We don't have that, so that's why I'd like to see a little bit more upside. We go uh, H4, we have that bearish divergence, so it's very tricky now. Um, but on H1, this is where it becomes more trickier because you, I wouldn't be selling until this low here gets broken, until we get a lower low here. We need a lower low here. We have that potential bull hidden, so that's why I'd rather wait and take that bear uh that ball hidden out of the picture before i look for the cells um so i want this low here to be broken just come down a little bit more and that will break the trend line as well and then if you get that flag then you want to look for that cell to go and break the low till you get that um be careful and i won't be buying this either um even though it has that ball hidden, this is one move up. This is a ball hidden. And then if we get that next wave up, um, you know, I, I just don't want to do it. <coughs> it. It becomes too risky because we do have that bearish divergence all over the ABC. On the H4, we have that bearish divergence. So I don't really want to be buying into it, even though we do have that ball hidden. Um, really to be buying it we'd need to bounce off this trend line nice impulse up and then a nice flag to buy something something to buy before you can buy at this stage there, there is no setup but, uh long or short at this stage um uh you sheffy 
Oh, the Swissy again. I was looking for this. I got a break even out of this. Um, I was looking for that Z up. It failed. We do have that ball hidden again. I don't really want to be buying, uh, selling until the bear, the ball hidden is taken out. Now, more than likely, well, it's not going to be a Z up because the correction's too large now. So it, there's quite a few things that can happen. This can be a, a like A B C for a W, A B C for an X, A B C for a Y. This can become very complex. We don't know exactly what's going on in here at the moment. And I definitely don't really want to be selling until this ball hidden is being taken out of the picture. It's just too risky for me to go against um, that. So uh, if we go down to the H1, this was your trade set up here. This was the, um, I put out the idea as soon as this got broken. If I zoom in here. As soon as this slow got broken over here, I put that idea out and, and we got that nice move up. Um, it turned into an ABC. I got in, well, right down here on the on the low time frames. Um, but even if you did get in on the break of the flag, you, you really shouldn't have taken a hit on that. And if you did well, uh, you took a small hit on it. You, stop loss here um i got out once i seen this i took half off and then just moved the break even and i got taken out of the second half of the trade over here so i didn't make any much money out of it um i didn't get that z up but the most important thing is when your analysis is wrong you don't want to be losing money on it. And that's where your strategy comes into play. It's so important. It's the most important thing, your strategy, um, your trading system. It's so important. Um, so even though I didn't get the Z up, I didn't lose any money. And that's the most important thing um, when you're trading to not give back to the market. Okay. So at this stage, we don't, on the H1, we don't have any, um, we've lost all the divergence. So by all means, you can scalp the shorts. You know, if you get little flags, you can scalp it. We do have the trend, uh, trend line in here. So, you know, by all means, you can scalp them, but they're only scalps. Um, you know, we're going to get that Z down on the daily. Uh, Oh no, I'm looking for that. I'm looking for this C up, uh, but this is way too choppy. So this isn't this isn't finished. I dare say this is like a um a, a W X Y X, and then we get a Z down before we go. So just have to take that into consideration. Um, we can break that low but then it's going to shoot up as soon as the low is broken um i don't think it'll break it by much because it's such an extended b wave so so at this stage you can look for the buys as well um you know because that ball hidden is still in play um if you do get a buy set up on it you know you, you can look for that buy as well um or you can get that sell on the on the H1. You know, if you get a little bare flag, you can look for the sell because you don't have that bullish divergence. So yeah, it's going to be tricky to trade this week. Uh, UCAD, 
I was looking for that H4. I was looking for that again. I was looking for this. We didn't get that Z up. We didn't get those Zs up. This was a really nice trade. Um, I got in this one, got out at the 100 fib. But we didn't get that Z up. I was looking for that uh, W, X, Y, X, Z, because we did have a potential ball hidden, um, even though we didn't get crosses over here. But all the other pairs were showing that ball hidden. So I was sort of looking for the ball hidden on this one as well. And if it was going to go, it would have went from this one here. It didn't go, it gave us a flat instead. Um, We've got a nice sell on this one, on the H1. I was just looking for the C down. This one's actually um, broken below this this point here of end of wave X. It's actually blo broken below it now. Um, I was just, I got out at the 100 fib. But now, it's not an A, B, C down. I'll remove that. So what we're going to get now, more than likely, or the way I'm looking at it is, we're going to get a motive structure down. So I think this week, well, it, it, more than likely, we'll get a correction in here. So you may not get a trade this week on it, unless you're scalping the X2, and then look for that Z down. But we really have to wait for this correction before we get that Z down. So it may be a quiet week this week. Um, and this this may not be over. This wave Y, there's, there's uh, you know, this can go to the 200 fit. I like to see it get to the 161.8, um, but it can go further than that. So if you're going to trade this X wave up, you have to be really careful. You have to wait for the turning point. You have to wait for that impulse and then trade the C wave, the A, B, C in the X. Um, very risky trading the A wave in a correction. Um, um, GY. GY. We got that. This is very choppy as well. If we go to the H4, I put that out idea out ages ago. Um, I was looking for this like A, B, C, and the larger A, B, C. The thing I don't like about it is it's so choppy. It's just so choppy. It's not looking impulsive. So when we see this in price action, you, you have to take caution. That's why it is becoming a little bit harder. It's not, it's the price action isn't fitting the structure that I like to see. So that's where it becomes complex. And um, it, it throws up the red flags, you know? So if we go to H1, how, how are you gonna trade this? We've got bearish divergence. We've got bearish divergence, so do you want to buy into this? You know, um, me personally, I won't be. It's too choppy. This is way too choppy for my liking. Um, I'd prefer to just stay out of it. This could just keep on doing this, you know, and even get to that target. But very chop, you know, very choppy. I don't like to trade that. Um, <laughs> If you're looking for the sell, you need that tread line break correction or a flag before you sell to go and break the low. Um, we are getting that bearish divergence. I won't be buying into it. Um, it's up to you. If you do, if you are looking for the buys, you just have to um, wait for the flags. And you need your strategy. You can't just look for flag breaks. Um, I show four different trading strategies that I show. Um, so in the course, and you really need to learn, have a good trading strategy to trade or else you just lose money. Um, and yeah, you just won't get anywhere. 
so pretty much on GY, um, you know, me personally, I'd prefer to see it um, break out, give us a bear flag, and I'll be more interested in the sell. Even though on the H4, I am looking for that for the D1 as well, um, more upside. It's just looking too corrective for me. I, I don't like it, so I just stay out of it, you know. Until I see something to, that I can really trade, I just stay out of it. And that's very important, um, you know. Over trading, over trading is an account killer. It will kill your account. If you're trying to trade every one of these in a choppy movement, if you're trying to trade these, you will probably more than likely lose money. Like it's too choppy. It'll take you out. It, it'll go, then it'll take you out. It'll go, then it'll take you out. And it'll do that all the time. And you, you'll end up losing money um, it, over trading. You know, it's an account killer. Um, gold. Gold, I'll get a nice setup on this one. If we have a look at this, uh, it di didn't get anywhere near the 100 fib. And we got that trend line break now. H1, we got a nice setup. Um, we've got this nice, so... We got into this here, had that nice um, correction in here for the upside. This was your entry up here. This was my entry at break even. And it was quite a risky trade, but I was looking for this um, more upside because this, the reason I was, was because of this here, this C wave, bullish divergence. And this was looking corrective, but as soon as I seen that, um, this little correction in here, I, I couldn't um, not take it. <laughs> so I, um, I'm at break even, and we don't have any bearish divergence. So I will keep it for a little bit longer. Um, here's your targets here. You can't get into it now. You can buy flags. You definitely can buy flags. Um, because we don't have any of that bearish divergence, if you get little flags in here or, or corrections, um, you can look to scalp this long. To go and break the high. Um, this can go and break the high. This high over here, but again it can become more complex as well um, because we've got this contracting flat in here this the, the potentials of uh of different patterns or structures you know is endless because we have this in here this uh contracting flat in here so this can be an a b c then we get that A, B, C. Then you get another A, B, C. It can just go on and on and on. Um, so I'm not going to say that it's going to break the top at this stage because um, we do have that bullish divergence on the H4, but this can become much more complex. And I am looking at it as a lot more complex yet because on the daily, um, yeah, it's. Well, on the weekly, it's actually weekly. I'm looking for this wave Y. So I'm looking at all correction for a long, long time um, before we get that Z up. And it could take you know, a few years, a couple of years. I think there's a couple of years in this correction here. So uh, that's what I'm looking for. Um, but at this stage, yeah, if if you're looking for the scalps on the H1, yeah, by all means, um, you know, once it gets to this 100 fib, be careful. Um, more than likely, it will go past this 100 fib. I'm thinking now that we don't have that bearish divergence, it can it, it can potentially go to this 161.8. Uh, so I'm only looking for buys in this now. Uh, WTI, 
W T I. I was looking for this. Again, I was looking for that Z down. We never got the Z down. I actually got a buy in right down the bottom here. Um, buy setup. And I did get out on Friday. I actually got this one here as well. Um, got out of all uh, on Friday yesterday and um, took profit on it all. So I'm not on this at all now. So I'll take all this off because I was looking for that um, last week. I was looking for that end of wave Y to finish and we get that X2 and then the Z down. So I remove all this. So this is the end of B and we're getting to the end of C. So we're just getting a C wave. I think I'm looking at it as corrective for the larger A, B, C before we get more upside. I wouldn't be, we do have that bearish divergence. So um, I wouldn't be, and even on uh, H1, we, we have that, that's why I got out on Friday, we had that bearish divergence on the H1. So I took it, uh, I got it out. Um, at this stage, we more than likely will get a little bit more upside, but then I'll be looking for that C down. So the A, B, C down, I think, um, if I do get a bear set up, I will be taking it. Um, at this stage, if we look on H1, we have that bearish divergence. So we've broken out of the trend and we have that bearish divergence. Um, even if it, we get a break of the top here, uh, if you're going to trade this, um, uh, you can only buy above the break of the top and it's very risky because you have that bearish divergence. So I'm only looking for the sells. You may be getting a little bear flag in here. Um, if we go down on the lower time frames, it's more of a correction, but we get an A, A, B, C, then we get that A, B, C, if you get that trend line break, little flag or something, look for that sell. So that'll be a nice, if we get some sort of a setup, a sell set up on this, um, Monday or Tuesday, I'll be, I'll be looking for that sell, for that C down, for that larger C down. To break this low. So I'm looking for, may come up a little bit more and then fall over and I'll be looking for that C down, larger C down to break this low. Bitcoin. Bitcoin, like I said last week, we got that contracting flat. Um, all this should have been taken off. I thought I took it off last week, but I didn't. So I was looking for that. Um, well, this was the trade here for the, for that trade, uh, for the sell, this was it here. For the trade view idea, I was looking for the sell here. Didn't quite take the invalidation point, but it didn't go down to the AC. So I was looking at, this is the contracting flat in here for the A, B, C. Now we're getting that C up. We did get some nice, um, set, there was some nice setups on this one actually, some nice flags on the H1. So if I remove all this, I should have removed all this last week, but so more than likely get something like uh, something like this. For I, I do think we're still going to get more downside. Um, we are breaking out of this structure. This is looking fairly corrective 
so that's why I'm thinking uh, we will get more downside. So we get an A, B, C before we get the more, the bigger move up to break the top. At this stage, that's the way I'm looking at it. Uh, H4, we do have that bearish convergence as well. Uh, no, no, we don't. We haven't broken the top, so there is no bearish convergence. But I dare say, if we get the break of the top here, um, we will start to get that bearish convergence. It's not confirmed yet, and it may turn impulsive, but we can't say that for sure at this stage. It was given some nice flags, this one. Um, this was your trade in here. I think that was the one that I said last week. Pretty sure it was, that one there. So I said, yeah, look for that buy. Um, if you took that buy, well, um, yeah, you, you're doing well. You, you got a few nice flags. Like this is a nice flag here. It's giving another one here, you know. Um, there's no bearish divergence. So you can take these flags, move them to break even, and um, scalp them. And there is quite a fair bit to go on this one, um, if we go back to H4. But your target is um, the 100 Fib. So your 100 Fib's around the um, 1173. But well, 11,736 area. So there is quite a bit more upside. There is potential of more upside um, before we get that larger move down. So you could scout this long this uh, next week. SBX. We've got that C, C down. Break of the trend line. This was looking choppy. Um, I didn't actually get in this one. I was looking for the trade this week. Uh, once I seen this, once I seen this A, B, C, we got a nice running flat here. Um, we had five up correction and we get another five up. I didn't get a entry on it. Um, I missed the blow here. And it never gave me a flag to buy into. So I'm not in this one, unfortunately. Um, I would have loved to have got in on this one, but um, that's trading. You will never get every trade. Uh, yeah, well, basically now it becomes risky because we have a... H4, I don't think we have any bearish divergence on H. No, we don't. So it's just one move. So more than likely, it will go and break this top. Looking for that top to be broken. So on the H1, we don't have any, uh, we do have, we are getting bearish divergence, which makes it hard. Um, if you're not in it, you, you're going to have to be a little bit careful. There is that bearish divergence. So on the H4, we may get the larger correction. Um, wherever this ends, you may get that larger correction for the A, B, C before it does break the top. So it becomes a little bit risky. But yeah, I missed the trade to where I would have liked to have got in. So now I just have to wait for the reversal. Um, I can't buy into this. Uh, I missed the trade, so. The DAX, um, this was your trade in here. I think, well, yeah, if I go down to the, this was your trade in here last week. Um, if you took that, you'd done well. Now you'll have to be careful because we are retesting this trend line, this broken trend line, we're retesting it. We don't have any bearish divergence um, on the H4. The H1, I think we do. Yeah, see the H1, we have that bearish divergence, so it becomes risky. 
you can take these flags. Like you, you're getting a buy set up here. Um, you know, if you take these, they're only scalps. You can only scalp this now. You, they become very risky. Once you start to get that bearish divergence, it becomes very risky. And I just stay out of them. I don't, I don't even trade them. Like, um, you know, I just leave them alone. Once, you know, doesn't fit my rules, I don't trade it. Um, simple as that. But if it's sort of giving a buy setup, there is no sell setup at this stage. Um, if you do get an impulse down, a um, little flag or something, you look for that sell, get it to break even. If it bounces off the trend line, well, you you got to break. Even if it breaks through, well, then you can keep it to go and break this low. So that's about it this week. Um, hope you have a lovely week. Keep safe out there and enjoy.